In southern Texas, Angela and Jesse are best friends and high school dropouts who spend their time working as waitresses at a mundane restaurant and wanting more out of their lives. One day, Angela surprises Jesse by purchasing a trip to Galveston so they can spend Jesse's birthday at the beach. She uses their rent money to pay for it and arranges for both of them to do extra hours at the restaurant to make up for the money they spent on the trip. However, Dustin, Jesse's goofy older brother, and both girls' roommate, spend his part of the rent on a failed drug sale he attempted with his friends. The following day, Tony, Dustin's friend, breaks into the house and steals an old TV because he thinks Dustin stole the drug money. The police arrive to check the crime scene and discover Angela's and Jesse's stash of weed and cocaine. Both girls are arrested. After spending two days in juvenile detention, where Jesse suffers from constipation, the girls are released and learn that Roderick, their boss, wants to talk to them. While headed to the laundry to wash their uniforms, they meet an ex-co-worker, Paul, who tells them that their mutual friend Art Dog is having a party at his home and that they can use his washing machine. At the Art Dog's house, the girls try to remain sober but eat cannabis cookies by accident. They arrive high at their job, and Roderick, even though he cares for both of them, makes the tough decision to fire them. With all hope lost, Jesse comes up with the idea of convincing Brandon their other roommate to let them take the money from the cash register at the sandwich shop where he works, and then tell the police he was robbed. At first, Brandon doesn't like the idea, but he accepts when the girls promise to have a threesome with him, a promise they do not intend to keep. At that moment, a disguised Dustin and his other friend Ryan, enter and try to steal the money to recover what they lost in the drug deal. The girls immediately recognize them and admit to Brandon they don't have enough money to pay for rent. After the boys leave, a terrified Brandon admits that there is only $50 in the register, that the rest is in the safe, and that he does not have the key. Brandon's boss Mr. Dixon unexpectedly arrives, and Brandon hides the girls in the utility closet. Dixon makes Brandon leave, leaving Angela and Jesse trapped inside. Mr. Dixon then puts his penis inside a bread sandwich and takes pictures of it. As the girls realize he is an older man they yelled at for being sexist at a grocery store. Suddenly Jesse starts having cramps due to prolonged constipation and defecates in a bucket. Angela feeling disgusted, opens the closet door and vomits on Mr. Dixon who passes out on the floor. Relieved that he is still alive, the girls check his phone and find out he is sexting with a woman who is not his wife. They decide to use his key to open the safe, take the money and leave a message telling him they will show the pictures to his wife if he reports them to the police. Back in the house, where Brandon, Dustin, Ryan and Tony are all deeply sleeping, Angela and Jesse decide to leave them enough money to pay the rent, take the rest, and go to California to start a new life. While talking about their plans, they fall asleep in bed. The movie ends with a scene of Angela and Jesse having fun at the beach.